Hey, what's up everyone? So in the last episode, we were able to design our shopping cart using CSS grid and I am happy with the design here. And in this episode, I want us to implement this functionality of removing an item from our shopping cart. So I'll just dive right into my VS code and I'll open cartstress.js and in this particular file is where I will work on our reducer and also generate an action creator for the same uh, to remove an item from our shopping cart. So earlier we had add to cart right here and I can click on this to see where it ends. It ends right here so that I can be able to add another uh, reducer right here for removing an item from our shopping cart. So right here I'll just say remove from cart and I'll have access to the state and also I'll have access to the action and then in here is where we can be able to update our uh, cut items state. So what I will do, I'll use an array method called filter so I can say state dot cut items and then I'll use a filter method right here which is an array method and we'll be able to get an item each time or our cut item each time let me call it a cut item right here so that it makes more sense and i'll be able to compare this cut item id with the action dot payroll dot id which is the product that we are trying to remove from the cut so i'll spell that right so right here i'll be able to say cut item uh, dot id not equal to action action dot payroll dot id so here we should have two of them so what this will do is that it will return those items that are not equal to our action dot payroll dot id uh, therefore the item that we'll be trying to remove which is action.pero.id will not be included in the array that will be returned from this so this will return an array and we can store it in a constant so i'll say const next cut items will be equal to state.cutitems.filter then we perform this check so those items that are not equal to action.pero.id are the one that will be returned right here. And therefore, that means that we'll be simply excluding our item that we are trying to remove from our cut. So this will be the next cut items and we can update the state like this. We can say red state dot cut items be equal to our next cut items. And that will do it as simple as that. So the next thing that we can do is to uh, export our action creator right here. So we'll destructure it from cut size dot action and we'll say remove from cut. And I'll save that file. And we need to dispatch this action creator from our cut. So I'll come to cut and we need to do it right here. So what we will do, we'll come to the button uh, where we have the remove. So let me look for it. Here it is. This is our remove button. And we will add an on click event. And for this on click event, we will call a helper method. We'll call it handle remove from cut. And I invoke it. And with this, we'll also pass in our cut item. So I'll pass in our cut item. I'll save that file to auto format. We don't have handle remove from cut defined. So let's define it. Just before our return statement, we'll say const handle remove from cut. We'll set it to be an arrow function, which will accept our cut item. And we can do something in here, which is to dispatch our action creator. Now, for us to dispatch our action creator, we need to make use of 
a React Redux hook called use dispatch. We can initialize that hook right here. So we can say const dispatch. Dispatch will be equal to use dispatch. We invoke that. Now we can be able to use this dispatch to dispatch our action creator right here. So we will simply say dispatch. I invoke these and we pass in remove from cut this one which will be coming from our cut slice so it will be auto imported right there we invoke these and we pass our cut item right here that is all so this cut item will be accepted as our action dot payload and then we'll access the id so we'll compare that id with whatever we have in our cut items and return those items that are not equal to our id here and then we update the state and this should actually remove the item from the cut i'll come back to the browser and uh, let's try to remove galaxy s i will remove and it's gone awesome so that works worked smoothly now we need to add react toast file and also uh, local storage for persistency because right now when i refresh uh, you'll see that Galaxy S will come back because it is available in our local storage and we need to update our local storage. So let's do those two things. So after we update the state, we can update the local storage and we'll simply say local storage dot set item. We, uh, we access the key which is the cut item and then our data will be json dot stringify and we pass in state dot cut items so this will replace whatever you have uh, in our local storage with our new array of items so that is it for the local storage and then for uh, post message i'll just duplicate this one so i'll use alt shift and the bottom arrow and then i'll use alt and then bring it at the bottom using the bottom arrow right here and then i want a red message so instead of success here i use error and then we'll have action dot dot name removed from cut so you have removed from cut and i'll save that file that is it let's test this one out I'll come back right here. Let me refresh just to make sure that everything is refreshed. And then I'll try and remove Galaxy S. It's gone and we now have a message. Galaxy S removed from cut. And then I refresh. Oh, it's still coming back. So our local storage is not being updated correctly. Um, yeah, this should be cut items. And I'll save that. This should be cut items. And now we have a new key in our local storage, which is cut item. So let me do this. I'll inspect. And then I'll come to application. And then you see now we have cut items and cut item. So this was not replacing this. It was just adding a new one. So I'll select this one and delete it because that's uh, a bug right there. But now we should uh, actually replace this because we have correctly uh, placed our key. So let's try to remove Galaxy S again. Or let me refresh just to make sure that everything is refreshed before we try it out. I will remove. Now it's gone. Let's try to refresh this one and see if it will come back and it doesn't so now we are correctly updating our local storage and also the state and we are removing an item from cart so we can also remove that iphone 12 removed from cart start shopping and we can add a new item so this is now coming along and we have actually removed an item from our cart and now in the next episode we'll work on our cart quantity we'll be able to increase the quantity right here and we'll be able to also decrease the quantity right here. And technically we have already implemented the increasing of
quantity because if we try to add Galaxy S again, we get increased Galaxy S cut quantity and now they are two. So we'll just hook that add uh, to cut action creator to our plus right here and it will always increase the cut quantity. So that is it for this video and I will see you in the next one.